Picture this, it's a balmy evening, the sky painted with hues of orange and pink as the sun dips below the horizon. You're comfortably nestled on your couch, a bag of popcorn within arm's reach. The year is 1978, and the television screen before you flickers to life, unveiling the sprawling landscapes of Texas. And then, there they are, the Ewings, a wealthy oil family with a web of secrets and drama that rivals the vast Texan terrain they call home. This is your first encounter with the iconic TV series, Dallas. Memories of those larger-than-life characters, Jay. Are Ewing, the conniving oil magnate with a hat and a smirk that defined an era, Bobby, his more virtuous but equally conflicted brother, Sue Ellen, the glamorous and complex matriarch, and a host of others, rush back. The twists and turns of the plot, the power struggles, the betrayals, and the ever-present allure of wealth and power. It's a world that engrossed you, a drama that transported you to a realm of opulence and intrigue, a saga that had you eagerly awaiting each new episode. And then, there were the unforgettable moments. That shocking cliffhanger, who shot JR, that had the entire nation on edge. The timeless lines that became part of the cultural lexicon. The emotions stirred by the character dynamics and the roller coaster of relationships that kept you hooked, episode after episode. But as we delve into the annals of Dallas, let's uncover some lesser-known tidbits about the show that even the most devoted fans might not be privy to. Behind-the-scenes anecdotes, production quirks, and intriguing facts that add layers to the already captivating narrative. Did you know that the character of J.R. Ewing wasn't initially intended to be a central figure? Or that the infamous who shot J.R. storyline wasn't originally part of the plan? These intriguing revelations are just the beginning of our journey into the fascinating world of Dallas. So, buckle up as we embark on a trip down memory lane and unveil the hidden facets of this legendary series. From the glitz to the grit, the glamour to the guile, Dallas continues to captivate, leaving an indelible mark on television history. Dallas, a TV series that debuted in 1978, originated from the mind of David Jacobs. This iconic show centered around the power struggles, intrigue, and betrayals within the wealthy Ewing family, who owned an oil company in Texas. The series notably revolved around the rivalry between brothers J.R. Ewing, the conniving oil tycoon, and Bobby Ewing, the morally grounded sibling. With its blend of family drama, business intrigue, and romantic entanglements, Dallas established a unique style that kept viewers hooked. The show's impact on popular culture was substantial, with the question who shot JR becoming a nationwide obsession after a cliffhanger ending to the second season. The mystery surrounding this event showcased how television could captivate audiences and led to the rise of the season-ending cliffhanger as a storytelling device. Additionally, the lavish lifestyles portrayed on the show influenced fashion and lifestyles of the time. Now, diving into some random facts about the series, did you know that Larry Hagman, who portrayed J.R. Ewing, initially turned down the role, only to reconsider after reading the pilot script? The character of J.R. became one of TV's most iconic villains, with Hagman's portrayal leaving an indelible mark. Furthermore, the Dallas series finale, known as the Dream Season, created a unique twist by rendering an entire season's events as a dream, allowing them to recon certain storylines. This decision sparked polarizing reactions among fans and critics alike. As an unexpected consequence, the show's popularity also impacted global politics. In the 1980s, the Soviet Union aired its version of Dallas to depict the perceived excesses of capitalist society, inadvertently showcasing the appeal of Western culture to its own citizens. In conclusion, Dallas not only showcased the complexities of family dynamics and power struggles, but also left an undeniable impact on television storytelling and even world events. Its iconic characters, unique style, and cultural influence have cemented its place in television history. Dallas, unveiling the enigma of J.R. Ewing in the annals of television history, few series have left as indelible a mark as the 1978 TV sensation, Dallas. Unveiling the opulent yet turbulent lives of the Ewing family, the show gripped audiences with its intrigue, power struggles, and unforgettable characters. Among these, none shines as brightly as the enigmatic J.R. Ewing, portrayed with sheer brilliance by Larry Hagman. One might be surprised to learn that Larry Hagman wasn't the initial choice for the role that defined his career. Robert Foxworth, known for his compassionate portrayal on Falcon Crest, was offered the part first. 
Foxworth, however, declined, believing the character needed a touch of softening. This pivotal decision marked the turning point for Hagman's legacy, as the oil tycoon audiences loved to hate. The series finale, Dallas, Conundrum, saw Hagman alongside Patrick Duffy, Ken Kershaw, Linda Gray, and Steve Connolly, who, remarkably, were the only actors to span the entire series from its inaugural episode, Dallas, Digger's Daughter. Their enduring presence became an emblem of the show's essence, a testament to its impact on both television history and pop culture. However, one episode stands out above the rest. On November 21, 1980, Dallas, Who Done It, captured the imagination of 83 million Americans and over 300 million viewers globally, setting a record for the highest ratings of a single TV episode. This milestone would hold until the farewell episode of M.A.S.H. on February 28, 1983, cementing Dallas in the pantheon of television legends. As we reflect on the twists and turns of the Ewing family saga, it's fascinating to imagine the alternate reality where different casting choices were made. Ken Kershaw could have embodied Ray Krabs, and Steve Connolly might have portrayed the beloved Bobby Ewing. Linda Evans could have been Pamela, and Mary Fran, Sue Ellen. Such musings offer a glimpse into the myriad paths a show's legacy could take. Dallas remains a paradigm of television excellence, a tale of ambition, betrayal, and grandeur that carved its place in history. Larry Hagman's transformation into J.R. Ewing, coupled with the steadfast commitment of his co-stars, turned a mere TV series into an indomitable cultural phenomenon. In the end, Dallas was more than a show, it was a revelation of human complexities and desires, a journey through a world where wealth, power, and intrigue held sway. As we look back, we can only marvel at the enduring allure of J.R. Ewing and the sprawling universe of Dallas. Barbara Bell Geds and Larry Hagman's age illusion in Dallas in the captivating world of the 1978 TV series Dallas, where power struggles and family dynamics took center stage. One peculiar age-related anomaly often escaped viewers' notice. Barbara Bell Geds, who portrayed the matriarch Miss Ellie Ewing, shared a mere nine-year age difference with Larry Hagman, the actor playing her on-screen son, J.R. Ewing. This artistic twist echoed throughout the Ewing family, as Hagman, in reality, stood 18 years older than Patrick Duffy, his on-screen sibling Bobby Ewing. A veritable illusion of time, skillfully woven by the series, rendered these relationships seemingly incongruous with reality. But this illusion extended beyond familial ties. As the series progressed, the character of Jock Ewing, the Ewing patriarch, posed a significant conundrum. Producers grappled with the dilemma of resurrecting the character, a move staunchly opposed by fans unless portrayed by Jim Davis. Enter Steve Forrest, who assumed the role of Wes Parmalee, claiming to be Jock Ewing. Yet, the truth behind his identity was unveiled, unraveling the intricate web of familial deception. As Dallas sailed into its fourth season, a media frenzy dubbed Who Shot J.R. gripped the nation. Amid this fevered anticipation, Larry Hagman, the inimitable J.R. Ewing, remained absent from the season's initial episodes. Contractual negotiations saw Hagman withhold his return, demanding a heftier paycheck. Faced with the ultimatum of higher remuneration or erasing J.R. from the narrative fabric, Lorimer Productions embarked on a precarious path. Alternate scenes, bereft of Hagman's presence, were captured. Even as negotiations swayed, Hagman whisked his real-life family away to London for a summer sojourn. From across the Atlantic, he continued his battle for just recompense. The network, realizing the indelible imprint of J.R. on the show's essence, conceded to Hagman's demands, sealing his triumphant return. Thus, the saga of Dallas mirrored life's intricate dance, where illusions of age, identity, and power converged to fashion a tapestry as enthralling as the Texas skyline. CBS contemplated shift in format for Dallas amid late 1980s ratings dip as the iconic TV series Dallas captured hearts in the late 1970s with its riveting saga of the Ewing family's fortunes and feuds. It solidified its place in television history. However, a lesser-known twist of fate nearly altered its trajectory. During the waning years of the 1980s, as ratings began to dip, CBS found itself at a crossroads, contemplating a radical change to the show's narrative structure. The show's initial seasons thrived on self-contained episodes, harking back to the early days of the Ewing clan's oil-rich drama. Yet, as the series progressed, it embraced a more intricate serial format, 
drawing viewers into a web of interconnected storylines. By the late 80 seconds, though, CBS faced a conundrum. Faced with declining viewership, executives pondered reverting to the show's original standalone format, which had initially garnered its dedicated fan base. The allure of self-contained narratives carried the charm of the show's early days, where the drama was punctuated with explosive moments. This proposed shift, however, remained merely a consideration in the network's strategy. Ultimately, the show retained its serialized structure, and Dallas continued its storied run until its eventual conclusion in 1991. While the show's format dodged an alteration, its core cast remained remarkably consistent throughout its 14-season span. Larry Hagman, Patrick Duffy, and Ken Kershevel stood as the sole actors to grace every season. Hagman, in particular, earned the distinction of being a regular in all 14 seasons. Patrick Duffy's fleeting appearance in Season 9's unforgettable shower scene marked a standout moment, while Ken Kershevel had been a recurring guest star in the series' formative years. Linda Gray, Steve Connolly, and Don Starr trailed closely, each participating in 13 seasons. Notably, Gray and Connolly were absent from Season 13 before returning for the grand finale. Star, however, diverged from the pack, never securing a regular role during the show's run. Amid the international reach of Dallas, unique translations of its characters emerged. In the Hungarian rendition, J.R. Ewing, the enigmatic oil tycoon, donned the moniker Jockey, while Sue Ellen Shepard, his complex wife, assumed the identity of Samantha. Dallas entrenched itself in television lore, both for its gripping storytelling and its behind-the-scenes decisions that navigated the show's trajectory. The contemplation of format shifts and the steadfast commitment of its core actors underscored the series' resilience through shifting tides of television dynamics. And as viewers still wax nostalgic about the saga of the Ewing family, the legacy of Dallas remains firmly etched in the annals of television history. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of the 1978 TV series Dallas, it's like bidding farewell to an old friend who has left an indelible mark on our lives. The tales of power, intrigue, and larger-than-life characters that unfolded amidst the sprawling Texan landscapes have a unique way of intertwining with our memories. It's a journey that resonates beyond the screen, reminding us of the human desires, triumphs, and tribulations that mirror our own. As you reflect upon the moments that made you laugh, gasp, and perhaps even shed a tear, consider the significance of your personal connection with this iconic series. Was it the familial drama that struck a chord? The suspense that kept you on the edge of your seat? Or maybe it was the larger-than-life personalities whose complexities mirrored the intricate layers of your own life. In a world where narratives come and go, Dallas stands as a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. So, I invite you to share your cherished memories, your insights, and the fragments of your heart that were woven into this intricate tapestry of the Ewing family and their world. Let your voice join the chorus of fans who have celebrated, questioned, and pondered the dynamics of power, loyalty, and passion that made Dallas an unforgettable saga. Your thoughts are a part of the living legacy that this show has become. Thank you for sharing your time and thoughts. Until we meet again, keep the spirit of Dallas alive in your heart and conversations. Here's to the memories, the lessons, and the timeless allure of the 1978 TV series Dallas.